As the legal use of hemp and other cannabis products grows, consumers are becoming more curious about their options. This includes CBD and THC, two natural compounds found in plants of the cannabis genes. CBD can be extracted from hemp or cannabis. Hemp and cannabis come from the cannabis sativa plant. Legal hemp must contain 0.3% THC or less. CBD is sold in the form of gels, gummies, oils, supplements, extracts, and more. THC is the main psychoactive compound in cannabis that produces a high sensation. It can be consumed by smoking cannabis. It's also available in oils, edibles, tinctures, capsules, and more. Both compounds interact with your body's endocannabinoid system, but they have very different effects. Despite their similar chemical structures, CBD and THC don't have the same psychoactive effects. CBD is psychoactive, just not in the same manner as THC. It doesn't produce the high associated with THC. CBD is shown to help with anxiety, depression, and seizures. THC binds with the cannabinoid 1, CB1, receptors in the brain. It produces a high or sense of euphoria. CBD binds very weakly to CB1 receptors. CBD needs THC to bind to the CB1 receptor and, in turn, can help reduce some of the unwanted psychoactive effects of THC, such as euphoria or sedation. Legality. In the United States, cannabis-related laws are evolving regularly. Technically, CBD is still considered a Schedule I drug under federal law. Hemp has been removed from the Controlled Substances Act, but the Drug Enforcement Administration and Food and Drug Administration still classify CBD as a Schedule I drug. However, 33 states plus Washington, D.C., have passed cannabis-related laws, making medical cannabis with high levels of THC legal. The cannabis may need to be prescribed by a licensed physician. In addition, several states have made recreational use of cannabis and THC legal. In states where cannabis is legal for recreational or medical purposes, you should be able to buy CBD. Drug testing, cannabinoids like THC and CBD are stored in the body's fat. They can show up on drug tests for several days or weeks after you use them. Not every drug test will be able to detect CBD, but CBD-sensitive tests are available. Most standard drug tests will look for chemicals related to THC, so THC or marijuana use might show up on screening. Likewise, hemp can produce some THC in addition to CBD, so a test could be positive for THC even if you haven't used it. It's important to note that products that claim to be THC-free may not be free of THC, so if you're drug tested, you shouldn't use any CBD or THC products. CBD and THC both have medical benefits. They're also both considered safe, but consider the possibility of side effects and interactions with other drugs you're taking. Talk with your doctor or qualified cannabis or CBD clinician before use and if you have any questions. We hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, then be sure to share it with a friend. Check out our channel, CBD and Me for content. Thanks for watching.